Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 13, lesson 1, measure perimeter. Page number is 825. Okay, guys, in this lesson we are going to measure the perimeter. Perimeter is what? It's the distance around a closed figure. The distance around a closed figure is called the perimeter. Now, for example, this is a closed figure. Okay. Now, what is the distance around it? We will not go inside, just around it. Means how much uh, is the length of all of its boundaries? So, how we find the perimeter, guys? We add all the sides. Here we have just four sides. If we have three sides, five sides, six sides, whatever the number of sides we have, we add all of them. For example, if someone uh, standing here and he moved from here to there, so he measured, he traveled how much? 12 yards. Then from here to here, 6 yards. 12 plus 6, 18. Then from here to here, so plus 12 again, 30 yards. And from here to back, to the starting point, 6 yards more. So 36 yards. 12 plus 12 and 6 plus 6. Okay, guys, remember this thing in rectangle. This is a rectangle, you can see. The opposite sides are of equal length. For example, if this one is 12, so the opposite side will also be 12. If this is 6, the opposite side also 6 yards. So the opposite sides in rectangle are of equal length. So the distance around the figure, the boundaries, the length of the boundaries. Here, all these boundaries. You add all of them to find the perimeter. Okay. Now the second thing here guys, the area. It's not in this lesson, but you will take it later on in lesson 3 and 4. Area. Area means that how many square units inside the figure. The perimeter means the distance around the figure. And the area means how many square units inside the figure. Like this is 12. So we divide it into 12 equal parts. You can see I make 12 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. And if this is 6 yards, so I divide it into 6 equal parts. Each one 1 yard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how you can find that how many total square units inside? We will not count them, of course. You just multiply the length, the longer one, by the width, the shorter one. So area, the formula for area is length times width. 12 times 6, the length is 12, the width is 6, 12 times 6, 72. And with the answer of area, we always write square units. Here we are using yards, so square yards. Because in area, we are finding that how many square units inside it. Okay, so the perimeter, we add all the sides, because the perimeter means the distance around the figure. And the area, we count how many square units inside. The formula to find the area, length times width, length times width. 12 times 6, 72. And we always write square yards because area means how many square units inside the figure. Okay, so length plus width, length plus width. Two lengths, two widths. So you can say two times length and two times width for parameter balls for parameter okay similarly if you have a square like this you know that a square have all of its four sides equal if we just give you one side and you don't have the other three sides you must know that square have all of its four sides equal so you will know all are six inches so the distance around the figure the boundaries the length of this blue line six plus six plus six plus six 24 inches and the area, you divide it into 6 parts, and this one also 6 parts. So 6 times 6, 
for area the area of a square guys you can also say because there is no length no longer side no shorter side so you can also say side times sides s times s so which is 6 times 6 36 square this time we write inches because it is inches how many squares inside it for area okay similarly here the parameter for this you add all the sides or you can multiply by 4 because it each side is of 8 centimeter and there are four sides 8 times 4 32 so these are two ways to find the parameter and the area you know that length times width but you can say for square sides times sides because there's no longer and shorter side all sides are equal in square or you can say length times width so 8 times 8 64 square centimeter this time because this is centimeter for this one the parameter 7474 so you add all of them and for area you multiply length by width length is 7 width is 4 7 times 4 28 square inches because it is inches this time similarly guys here on the next page you will solve all these questions by yourself here we find the parameter and this is the area this is the parameter for square there are two ways to find the parameter you can either add all the sides or you can multiply a single side by four because there are four sides two ways to find the parameter and this is the area so guys solve all these questions by yourself and then match your answers through this video okay where what is the unknown side from the opposite side you will see it is six yards for square all sides are equal so the unknown side is four and here we are counting because these are just square units there's no unit like centimeter feet inches yards you count them one two three four so four 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 and four add all of them to find the parameter and multiply any two to get the area for this one this is eight and this side is two now here eight two so for parameter you add all of them and for area you multiply length times width okay what is the parameter of the football field without the end zone without this end zone this one this is the end zone okay without this end zone you can see boys this is end zone end zone okay without this end zone so this is 300 it means this one also 300 till here without the end zone and end zone is how much 10 yards so this is 10 this is 10 this one 10 and this one 10 so with the end zone the total is 320 10 this side 10 this side so it becomes 320 similarly here 320 and this is 160 so this is also 160 so without the end zone you will multi you will add 300 with 300 plus 160 plus 160 920 feet and with the end zone you will add these four tens also so it will become 960 feet okay a baseball diamond is shaped like a square like this the parameter of is 360 feet they give you the answer they want you four times what is equal to 360 what is the each side so four times 90 is 360 so 90 feet times 4 360 okay here you have to find out the unknown what is the distance here if this is four you can see four feet four feet so the remaining the opposite side it is 10 total so it must be 10 total okay so this is six this is four so you add all of them we added here to find the parameter and here's some explanation i hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day